I'm trying to get... I'm currently applying for some of that sweet autism bucks, but before I show them this channel, I really want to seal the deal with a Dwarf Fortress video, because nothing says autism like this. So, before I take you on a tour of my... Uh, it's, it's kind of an amateur fortress, it's not one of my better ones. Uh, my... we have a problem down here. There's a forgotten beast, and my militia commander was the only soldier, uh, standing guard at the subterranean level entrance. And is more than equipped to deal with such a threat, but... Let us see how she deals with this winged uh, giant worm. Alright, there she is right there. First Swordsmaster. But before that, let's also call down every other... Every other soldier. Select, how do I select multiple again? I can't remember. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Everyone, move here. Position yourselves, because there, I know for a fact there are two forgotten beasts down here. This worm should not be a problem. However, the other one, maybe. Okay. Let us, the battle has begun. Let's just read this this character's information first. Huge hairy ribbon worm, thin wings, blah, 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 nothing important. Noxious secretions, nothing special. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, come on, come on, Commander. Come on, Commander. You can do this. Oh crap, that those secretions are getting her. This is a problem. You can do this though. She's dizzy. That's all that's all though. She has defeated the forgotten beast. She is walking away triumphantly. Commander, return to the fortress. You have Whoa, 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 soldier, soldier, what are you doing? Everyone Whoa, whoa, you have... Get out of there. Why are you in there by yourself? Return. I need... Come on. We gotta get to the front. We need to battle that thing on a wide open plain. That enclosed area is generally... Well, see, the problem is, this forgotten beast we're going to fight, it can shoot webs. So, one-on-one, -on -one, that thing- What are you fucking doing? Where are you going? Where are you fucking going? Where- where is the forgotten beast right now? Where the hell is it? Let's follow it. This is absurd. I already know it's a sauropod composed of water. I don't know how we're gonna fight that, but generally... Adamantine seems to fuck up anything. The First Sword's Master has bestowed the name Mizdan upon an Adamantine short sword. Okay, the, the background history of this militia commander is very... significant, so that artifact is going to have a very... important reputation. 
very sought after. It's also a master crafted adamantine short sword, so it's probably the most valuable weapon in the world. Wait, which one's the sauropod? No, that's not the one. That that forgotten beast down there, he he's pretty much just uh, lost. Doesn't seem to be able to get up there. This this one, however, this one is going to be a problem. Come on. Now, and unfortunately, there is a lot of stuff going on in this fortress, so the frame rate is suffering. I'm only watching this right now because I have to make sure that this thing doesn't sneak in anywhere. What is this place? I'm fairly certain, hmm. This thing could easily access through here. <clears throat> This is another entrance in our, you know, uh, the fortress. It's not as defended because there's generally nothing down on this level. But there are a couple weapon traps scattered throughout it. In fact, we can put another one in just to be safe. Yeah, I would totally waste an adamantine short sword on a weapon trap. Nice. Uh... Now, where, where are my glass weaponry? Totally expendable, because there's sand everywhere. That also has something to do with why this fortress even exists. Uh, yeah, put that there. Also, I just remembered something. I'm going to... I can't use my, uh, my manager right now, because I don't know what the fuck he's doing. But, you know, that problem solved. We need more chairs and tables. Okay, what is, what are you doing, Forgotten? This, oh yeah, this thing has slaughtered everything down here. You see all those, those letters with uh, red around them? Th those are corpses. This thing has killed all those things. I... Does, it does not appear that this thing knows how to get up here. I'll, um... Okay, the entire goddamn military is down here. I thought it was on... So, wait a minute, okay. This is level 114. This is level 109. 104. It does, it's taking a direction. It is going somewhere. Oh yeah, it's totally, it's, it's making a break for the fortress. Oh, damn. Shit. Should I position my... Are these... Are these tree trunks? Or are these... Yeah, it doesn't seem to be able to get through there. Oh, wait. No, no. Can't get through there. So what are you, you going to do there, Forgotten Beast? It's trying to find a way. If, uh, it could easily cross down here, go under this trunk, and come up. Whoa, whoa, unconscious. Oh, okay. He's, he's just going crazy. Never mind. I thought there was a collapse or something.
Hmm. I don't know what the hell is going on here. What are you, what are you throwing a tantrum? Don't throw a tantrum when you're surrounded by soldiers, you idiot. Where the hell did it- there it is. Oh. What's going on? Oh. Whoa, 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 it's shooting webs at something, what the hell? What's going on? Just attacked something. It's swimming, it's swimming. Uh, masterpiece, masterpiece, cave spider silk cloth. Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, I have a lot of uh, master craftsmen by now. This fortress has existed for quite some time. This thing is going to drive me crazy. You know what, everyone, uh, just go back to your posts for now. Doesn't appear that this thing knows what the fuck it's doing. It's also moving very, very slowly. You're just gonna stay down there, forgotten beast? <coughs> Okay, well, that Forgotten Beast seems to be taking a route into here. I'm very sure of that. But it's going to take it a while to get there because it has to circumvent this labyrinthian uh, cavern system. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Seems to just be staying in that area. Okay. Uh, this is the surface area. And by the way, I like the default tile set and all, but I like this one a lot better because it reminds me of Link's Awakening and A Link to the Past. I feel like I'm governing a society in one of those games. It's very visually appealing to me. It's got that nostalgia factor going on. It also There's also a sprite for everything. Mostly. Except, like, dead bodies. But, the idea of this fortress, it's called Zizrimtar, which is Dwarven for Crystal Palace, and I also like names with, like, Z in it, when we're talking about desert societies. What the hell is that fucking Forgotten Beast doing? It's driving me crazy. I mean, it's down there. It, it's got a path. It's gonna... Fuck it. Don't care. The purpose of this fortress is that we're building a green glass pyramid. We're in the middle of a desert, so there's plenty of sand for the green glass. We've already dug a moat. We built a three-level high wall with two levels dedicated for archery to concentrate uh, about 20 archers on a single target. I have all the had all the military down there, but typically there are two archers patrolling the walls. We haven't been attacked in a while. I think we're long overdue. What is this? Is that a gap? You motherfuckers. F plug that. Plug that thing. That is not acceptable. No wonder there's not... No wonder there's, like, always people slacking off on this level. How long has that even been there? That's ridiculous. That's absurd. What is this? Okay. 
Well, no tile fell down, but... Okay, three gates. Very well defended, north and south. East, it's just, uh... We were looting the bodies over there. We also needed... We needed some stuff over there. I think it's about time to... Uh... Raise this one. And, uh, this is also the control tower. This is where, uh, we control all the floodgates, the drawbridges, and other stuff I can't remember. It's very, this is a very well-defended fort. I basically have this entire land to myself. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here it comes. It's coming over here. Okay, soldiers, get back in position. Everyone needs to be over here now. We have a problem. What are you doing? What do you got? What do you got there, dude? Be mindful of the law. Good. Okay, we need some archers down here, like, ASAP. Random dwarf corpse there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I forget, what, what, what is this? What is, where does this go? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Wait, no, it doesn't... Never mind, that was a, an illusion. Okay, I thought- I thought there was a stairway down to my forge. Okay, this- this forgotten beast is beginning its attack. Does it have wings? I can't remember. If it's got wings, we're kind of fucked. Okay, it's got no wings. Nothing to worry about there. Just gotta mobilize my entire military. Get a few bowmen, we'll be fine. It's got webs, though. We have to shoot it. We cannot possibly take that thing down in close combat. Which is kind of absurd, because we have adamantium weaponry. We should be able to easily free ourselves. I'm just gonna follow... this guy. Now it's running away again. What the hell? Okay, let's- I'm just gonna keep the entire military down there. <sighs> what else? What else? Yeah, this is, uh, road, if you somehow manage to- They raise the bridge. If you somehow manage to breach our walls, I have channeled these along the road so that they cannot shoot through these fortifications, but I can put things here. Not only does it protect my goats, the most precious livestock I have, because they have milk and that makes cheese. I can also put archeries here for some close range shooting. Guaranteed hits. And then here, this is the main entrance into the fortress. You, there are normally, there is normally a legendary blunt weapon user and a legendary edged weapon user uh, stationed here, along with 10 war dogs. And nothing is going to get past them. There's also a war dog that has a 3x3, three three, uh, you know, defense area. This is the trade depot, easily accessible. Double glass doors into the, into the fort. This is the my main military force. They specialize in edged weaponry. This is also where my militia commander trains right here. This is the training room. Uh, but they're all down here. Okay, good. Everyone's down here. Let's... Okay, so I just... So I stationed my, my forces there, and now it's running away. 
I also have not explored that area in the top left, so I have no idea what's going on up there. There are dead bodies everywhere from these forgotten beasts just roaming freely. Corpses fucking all over the place. And as you can see here, I have a fucking pile of dead goblins and trolls and what are these? Those, uh, the, the titans, right? No, I think those are werewolves and zombies or whatever. Oh, we killed the shit out of those. The point of this fortress, as I said, it was to build a green glass pyramid. Which, after all the hardships we have experienced at this point, depression has sweeped the, uh, the fortress. It is swept the fortress. And uh, not a lot of shit is getting done. Except for the people who, you know, have balls and are traumatized easily. Oh, uh, you know, oh, a kid fell in a, down a well and uh, his skeleton is still there to his day. Oh, oh that's so terrifying. Oh. Uh, they need to fucking dwarf the fuck up. Let's see, my goats, my other general livestock, they're not even fighting each other. It's very peaceful over there. I have everything planned out for if I have surface farms. Also, this is planned for irrigation. When the green, if the green glass pyramid is ever constructed, it will still allow us to have sunlight passing through the walls, and the water will still allow uh, grazing and crops to, you know, obtain some moisture. This giant blue circle here. This is going to be the Colosseum that I'm still constructing. I have to build. I realized I have to build basically uh, like a giant ceiling. I've built a lot of Colosseums. I've tried a surface Colosseum for once, and it's not working out too well. I kind of wish I just built an underground one. I do kind of have an underground, like, dungeon for battling, but... It's not It's not as good as I would hope it to be. And this one on the right, this is one is going to be a water reservoir that I can drain at will. They both have drains. Drains that lead down into the sewers. Check on this forgotten beast again. What are you doing? Run away every time I look at you. Yeah, you're gonna wait. You're gonna wait until until I'm not looking, and then you'll you'll charge the fortress. Piece of shit. I hate forgotten beasts. I hate it when they're they do I like when they just charge. I don't like when they just linger around and wait for an opening. It's stupid. I guess it's very smart, but it's stupid for gameplay mechanics. I mean, it's realistic. This is a realistic game, so whatever. Let's see, these walls, they are going to have towers. They do have towers right now. They are going to only be accessible from the underground. In fact, they are. You can only access the walls from the underground, or if you're flying and you land on the walls, which... No enemy has sent flying things at us because we keep our gates open. That just about explains everything on the surface. What the hell are these switches? I can't even remember. Oh, they control the gates here. They control these gates that are going to be for holding prisoners. Okay, well, here's the underground farm. It's not very active right now because we kind of ran out of seeds and we're having trouble getting more. But it should not be a problem. Here's my stockpile. Here's my hall of traps. Comes from the, the top up here. We can close and open it whenever we want. When an enemy shows up, we raise the drawbridges. They go down there. You can still see blood splatter all there from invading armies. Our corpses are still there to this day. What are you doing? Dude, did you seriously walk all the way? You're just a siege engineer anyway. I don't, I don't care at all. And over here, this moving thing, this 
This is the pump tower. This is the... This is the thing that uses water power to pump water from the, the sewage down there, and it allows the water to constantly flow and be pumped back up to the surface, along with all of our waste. No, well, not waste, but, you know, just keeps the water flowing so it stays clean, doesn't stagnate. Whatever. God. I hate you, Forgotten Beast. I can't keep my soldiers down there. They all gotta... They have other stuff to do. You piss me off so much. You know, I, I think it's time to... I'm going to send one uh, Mark, Mark's Dwarf down there. Let me see, what do we got here? The walled yells and the crimson rocks are my archery teams. Uh... Should I... Should I really? Yeah, I, I definitely should put a ranger down there because this is... Absurd. I need to give them another order station. Station at the... At the... What the hell? Cave 114 gate. That's it. I only want one guy down there. Set that to all months. Damn. They're funneling through there. <sighs> That's upsetting. Well, I mean, these weapon traps should, like, cut its feet off at least, but it's got to have those webs, which is absurd. But in the event that it passes through those weapon traps, then it won't just be one soldier down there who's fucked. There will be an archer with him. Get some good hits in there. I have them set to... Use metal weapons in combat, or metal ammunition. Uh, I was explaining the water, the pump tower. And the pump tower, the water doesn't actually go in through here. The, the water actually comes in through this little, this little thing jutting out. Comes down here, there is a gate to control the flow. Goes down, down, down. As you can see, water is flowing. Easily accessible wells here. Everyone's happy. Easily accessible water. No one's ever going to die of thirst, at least. That's never going to be a problem. The only time it's not ever going to be a problem is if we're being amphibiously assaulted. And I have to shut the gate, but they usually destroy the gate anyway, so it doesn't matter. But if we are amphibiously assaulted, I also have a series of uh, upright spikes to just fucking impale them if they think about going down there. That's the same. Okay, the farmer's workshops are milking and shearing. Good. Hall of Traps. Yeah, that's everything on this level. Uh, finished goods stockpile again, because you can never have a good enough finished enough finished goods this is the the uh the guards barracks this is the ones who use the blunt weaponry all silver weaponry basically silver maces silver warhammers galore they're going to start training right now this is the weapons armor and ammunition vault it's protected by an adamantine door you have to basically go through this training room to even get to it there is no way in hell well, the mayor is horrified. What's going on? Mayor, can you tell me? Is there a dead body down here? I mean, we could... We could shut this. Why are you horrified, you crybaby? Don't, don't be a baby.
Archer, are you down there yet? No one's down there yet. Station at... Oh, shit. The first Swordsmaster sunk into depression. That's not good. And I, I really like this first Swordsmaster. She's basically unstoppable. I've watched her charge into uh, enemy armies and just, like, cut down soldier after soldier. And has only been injured once, and in that one injury she has lost an arm. But she only needs one arm to wield a sword, and she is the first one to master the art of the sword and taught it to everyone else. Everyone is now a master of the weapon because of her. She is also agile, she can move several tiles in one frame. Can respond to any threat easily as long as she's not depressed. But her psychology is very interesting. Aside from the fact that she doesn't care when she sees things die, that is a very good trait to have in a commander and a soldier. As you can see in this wall attack, she doesn't feel anything when she sees something die. She basically... Prone to strong feelings of loss, she presents herself modestly and frowns on any flashy accoutrements. She lives at a high energy kinetic pace. She often feels discouraged. She tends to be passive in discussions. She does not have a great aesthetic sensitivity and she is in she is conflicted by this as she values artwork and its creation. She is not inherently proud of her talents and accomplishments. She occasionally overindulges. She generally acts with a narrow focus on the current activity. She needs alcohol and whatever. And she dreams of raising a family. This is a very interesting character. She is she is like the most skilled soldier that we have in our arsenal. She has she has killed so many, saved so many lives, like demonstrated incredible feats of uh, physical prowess. But she doesn't she doesn't feel proud of that, and she also is passive in in uh, things. She's passive in conversations. Uh, what 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 else? What else was it? Often feels discouraged, but yet has a narrow focus on the uh, activity at hand. She is a she is determined to. She is one hundred percent focused on whatever's going on, but she can feel discouraged. Uh, dreams of raising a family, yet she has no family, no loved ones whatsoever. It's very, very sad. Let me look some more. Ah, uh, should have. Whatever. Nobles. Militia commander. Eh. Ability to grasp somewhat impaired. That's kind of an understatement because she's missing an arm. Those are her kills. Relationships. She has no. She has nothing. She just has friends. Which is good. She is completely friends with absolutely everyone except these. This one person. I think this is a new member of the fort anyway. She worships the the god of wealth. I think Thoth is our main god. And is associated with fate. Wait. No, I think... What's my mayor's religion? Gigan. Like I thought our I thought we are our I'm probably thinking of another fortress, but this I thought we had like a goddess of fire or something. Goddess of fire and fate. But I think we just have the gods of uh fate and a god of storms. I'm gonna keep checking on that forgotten beast. That is intimidating. Are you down there yet, Archer? Archer, you gotta... Wait a minute. Wait a minute? What the hell? Cave 114 gate. That's not... That's not where I want you to stand, dude. Chick. First Swords Master. Also, I don't want you to be down there because if that forgotten beast shows up, I'm going to lose my, like, most precious dwarf that has somehow survived everything that this fortress has been through. The worst thing that's happened is lost an arm in depression, but she's still hanging on. I gave her, I gave her 
Is this her room? I gave her this room. It's got gold shit all over the place. To try to appease her, but she just doesn't care. And she's modest anyway. She doesn't care about all this flashy shit. Okay, what? What? A, underground archery location. Uh. Hmm. 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 Ca cafeteria, huge food stockpile, a gigantic finished goods stockpile. Can never have enough. Let's see what's whose room is this? This is the bookkeeper's room. This is the captain of the guards' room. This is the mayor's room. Mayor's bedroom. Oh, this is his, this is the throne room, basically. I kind of had to improvise this. This entire underground section, it's actually not something that I was planning on to be the main fortress. I'm kind of embarrassed by it because it's a very amateur fortress, but I was taking a, a pragmatic approach because I just had to get shit done. Because the main focus is the glass pyramid, but the glass pyramid, you know, it's going along very slowly. It kinda, it's kind of, it's kind of pissing me off. Hey, whoa, who put that wall there? That's not what I wanted. Put some more walls in there. Let's get this next level finished. At least the levels are going to get easier and easier as time goes on. Come on, where where is an archer? I put an archer down there. This is absurd. And I want you to get out of that goddamn... You know what, let's make it... We gotta make this more narrow. We gotta... Yeah, I'll use orthoclase blocks. We have to make this more narrow. I don't wanna... I don't want that fucking forgotten beast to totally slaughter us. Large three. Yeah, I got I got like green glass weapons galore down here. I can totally throw them anywhere. Like that's the beauty of being in a in a desert is that you can just turn all this sand into green glass, and it's like infinite material for building material and uh, building these weapons. Okay, I put in large serrated green glass discs. Now, where are the large uh, green glass axe blades. I want some variation in these attacks. Ah, bronze spear, whatever. I don't care. Just in case she seriously doesn't move, I need to I need to make sure that she lives. I also have some dwarves freely roaming around because we pretty much have this under control. There's no great monsters everywhere. We pretty much purged them all. But the only thing that's worrying me is that forgotten beast. Ooh, ooh, where are you? Okay, well, okay, okay. As you can see, the dwarves are on standby here. Training, I believe... There are... Did anyone plug up that hole? Okay, you plugged up the hole. Good, that's what I wanted. Good job, guys. Archer, patrolling there. Keeping a constant watch. That's what I like to see. I like to see vigilance as rewarded. The longer you maintain vigilance, the longer we live. Okay, uh, what, what else? What else? <laughs> Nothing here. These are all just mined out areas. I found some gold. This is the uh, mass pitting area where we shove tons of. Wait, wait a minute. No, oh, this this is the. I have two mass pitting areas. This one goes a long way the fuck down. This one goes down like twenty Z levels, and it goes right down onto these these spikes. So you're basically not only going to get obliterated from the force. But also, you're going to get impaled on those spikes. Very awesome and metal. 
And I, I love I love glossing over this uh, collection of weapons and armor that I have. Makes me feel satisfied. Speaking of that, I need to sanction the production of more bolts. Make more bolts. Always need more. Copper and iron. Anything better than wood and bone, but... Eh. Okay, well... This is the uh, workshop area down here. Carpentry, uh, clothes make, clothes making here, gems, masonry, craftsmanship, soap, everything. Improvised hospital. This is all the room we need. It generally fills up really fast after we, if we get crippled by an enemy attack. Uh, speaking of enemy attacks. Secluded fishing area. If we get attacked by uh, an amphibious assault, goblins mounted on frogs, then uh, yeah, they're going to pretty much be able to go through there, but I'll be able to spot that they have those frogs and make everyone retreat underground fast. Generally, they don't. They don't feel the need to use frogs or giant birds as long as you keep, the, keep an opening open, you know. I also keep it open for to get those resources outside. Oh, it's something else. I also have these grills. It allows for patrolling guards to be able to spot up and down the, the floors. Either next floor up, next floor down. Possibly see vampires and criminals. What is it? Where does this mass pitting area go? It's another... This one goes down to the dungeon, actually. Uh, yeah, this one goes down to the dungeon. It basically serves as a, an impromptu... Uh, impromptu battle arena. There's also an area here in case they get stuck here, they get crippled, or they just don't feel like moving. I have archers here to just shoot through these fucking walls at them. I usually disarm the prisoners so they don't have archers to shoot back. And then they go down through this path. There's weapon traps everywhere. I have this. I have... I need to raise this. This is a secret passage. as a shortcut to get in through here. It's a cage trap. I, like, I furnished it a little bit because I like to imagine they're going through like a haunted house. Go through here, more of a labyrinth. And then here, it's all very single file because I send in uh, gladiators to go kill the shit out of them. I also can raise and drop this bridge whenever I want to incentivize them to stay where they are and uh, whatever. Uh, I was thinking about putting some windows down here. Put this, uh, make this like an atrium or a recreational area, so that they can look down into this and enjoy the view. But then I thought, if there's forgotten beast. Speaking of which, uh oh. Hello. Whoa. Wait a minute. No, that's from the, the last. Okay, okay, we have a we have a real problem. The The Forgotten Beast has landed here. We have to mobilize fast. Just in case he goes through here. A giant green glass axe blade. That's what I was looking for. Let's fill up that just to be double extra super duper safe. Guys, no one... There's no reason to even be on this level. We usually... This is just the immediate area that I sometimes collect uh, plant seeds from and some... I also use this as like an emergency pen and pasture area in case we lose the surface for whatever reason. 
Uh, is that Forgotten Bee seriously coming over here? Oh, yep, yep, this is it. This is gonna be the fight. Oh, crap. Okay, guys. Guys, this, this is it. Moment of truth. Moment of fucking truth. Get ready for a fight. I want to put them a little farther back. Okay, soldiers, get in position. We have a problem. And let's hope to God that they can handle this. I want to go out and kill that thing mono e mono Or... Dwarfies, plural, or whatever. And that's why we couldn't build that there, because there's a rock that I told them not to pick up. Oh crap, we got some people walking around down there. And knowing giant sauropods, I think it probably kick limbs into bloody messes of gore. Just getting webbed by that fucker is a big problem. Oh, don't run away now. It's hiding behind that fucking wall. I gotta send in like a, a raiding party to kill this thing. This thing is bugging me. Once the entire army is here, we're going after it. It can't web us all. It's going to be fighting like 40 dwarves. What is this? What is this stairway? I forget where this goes. Hmm. Oh, I forgot. That doesn't really go anywhere, but... Well, let's put another one in here just for good measure because these forgotten beasts take a lot of punishment. I'll put a copper maze and a wood sword there. I just I want to get a wood I want to get rid of these wood swords from these from these dead elves. I didn't kill them or anything, but they just leave their shit everywhere, and sometimes my dwarves think it's a good idea to charge into battle with a training sword. Who do I want? Do I want an adamanti weapon, or do I want a training sword? I'll take the training sword. You? Did it? Did Toady, like, upgrade the artificial intelligence or something? Because now this, this thing runs away every time I send people down here. Wait a minute, is it on a beach? Oh no, of course it's not a beach. It's in an underground, like, series of... What's your... Thief! A thief has appeared! Thief! Oh shit, sometimes thieves... Sometimes thieves will prelude an invasion for us. What am- I have a cobalt civilization nearby. Exports from the goblins, terror. Offerings from us, vengeance. Exports to us, petty annoyance. Offerings from us, death. That's what I like to fucking hear. Okay, wave of thieves. This is not... I'm not liking the sound of this. This 
Forgotten Beast is pissing me off. Okay. Change of plans. Everyone go back up. We're going back up, and, uh... I really don't want to make a burrow. Burrows are such a pain in the ass to make. I just want to make everyone, like, stay away from all this shit going on underground right now, because it's a big problem. I'm going to chain a dog down here, though. Assign an animal to lure them in as bait. I need those archers back up there. Why oh, don't punch our goats, you fucking lunatic? Okay, well, yet again, that forgotten beast and the has sidetracked my tour. Here's where I keep all my dogs. Look at them all. I fucking knew it. <gasps> Wait a minute. What the fuck? Oh, no, 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 they're goblins. I thought they were humans. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, we're being invaded. We are being invaded. Okay, everyone, get the fuck inside now. Let me, how do I, I forget how to check my burrows, it's been a while. Burrows, siege. Okay. Now let's put a, let's put another bunch on, wait a minute. Brush currently, fuck, erase that drag. Drag over here, drag over here. Okay, and everyone, y'all gotta get inside now. I at least closed these gates, so these goblins are going to have to completely circle around down to the south gate. I'm going to, after I'm sure that everyone is inside, I'm going to raise the bridge, and also, ooh, it's time to test my archers. Hmm. Do they have any master archers capable of shooting back up through here? No, they seem to be melee focused. Interesting. My, my brave, brave dudes. We're going to position them along the walls because I know, I know the path they're going to take. A, go here, go here, you go here, you go here. You go here, go here. Yes, this is, this is a tedious process to position them individually along each fortification, but this is what we're going to have to do. Second thought, let's put these guys up here. I want them to be kind of a little bit too far down. Now the next bunch, batch of archers, I want you guys to be up here. 
by the time they even get up there, they're going to be kind of far. And these goblins are going to... These goblins took my frame rate down to 7. So I'm just going to, like, take my mind off of them. Okay, guys, are you... Are any of you outside of the fort? What's that fucking... Got a double fucking quadruple triple boner check. What this forgotten beast is doing. No, these... There are dwarves there. That's what confused me. That That is a dwarf. A short... Yeah, they have dwarves. Some dwarves have joined them. That's... You guys are an insult to our race. You'll die like goblins, you fucking filth. Okay. Let me sweep this area, make sure no one's above ground or outside the fortress. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, good. Raise or drop. Yeah, raise it, raise it. Sometimes, uh, my dwarves have a habit of destroying these fucking drawbridges whenever we get invaded, and that's cost us lives a few times. By this time, I think they're not retarded. Again, the walls are only accessible from the underground, so... Yes, everyone go to the vault and get your shit together because we're going to crush these motherfuckers. And their only option is to go down here if they even fucking survive. And then when they're down here, I'm going to have these ballistas shoot down these hallways and slaughter them all if they don't get killed by these waves of Weapon traps. The bridge is up. We are secure. Good. Good. You, you've shown up to duty. That is what I like to see. Excellent. Excellent. Oh my god, they got... It's a pretty big army, actually. Well, this frame rate is killing me, so uh, let's explore this place some more. Let me make sure that that forgotten. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! God damn it! Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! I fucking knew it. The fucking forgotten beast is now making a move. Fuck, fuck that weapon trap. It was practically a joke. Is there anyone, like, at least valuable walking around down here? Because if they're expendable, then I don't really care, but... I mean, I'll take I'll take the blows. Doesn't matter. Can't believe that Forgotten Beast is... It... You... It is seizing the fucking opportunity. Ugh. Oh, what a fucking headache. What a goddamn headache. I'm just going to save the game for now. I'm going to go back. This is absurd. Now we got a forgotten beast that has webs, which practically makes it unkillable. And then... 
fucking invading army, which actually isn't that big of a deal. <sighs> now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this forgotten beast. Would be easy if I had my entire military, but now... Cave one one four defend. What the hell? <sighs> this is ridiculous. Archers in position. Markstorf has entered a martial trance. Nice. Yeah, shower them. Let me see how well that hit, 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 hit. Huh? Oh. They're just, they're just having a little tussle down there. They're already routing a bunch of pussies. This forgotten beast is unfreaking believable. He is such a dick. Can I nickname him? I'm gonna nickname him Dick. Oh, wait, wait, where is it going, hmm? Maybe he isn't trying to fucking charge us. As you can see, the archers are... The, this army has no fucking idea what to do. Why would you even... They fucking showed up without even any... Any... Range support. They can't even shoot back at us. I'm gonna kill them all and melt their weapons down. That's the funny thing is... You could potentially have a fort of, like, six dwarves. Just keep luring armies into... Into, like, a hull of traps and just keep melting all their stuff down. To get metal if you don't have it as raw resources. If you're, like, on a glacier or something. Interrupted by a goblin spearman. Did anyone go down there yet? A troll went down there. Got instantly hit by a fucking weapons trap. The copper spear, there's just... There's a troll stuck on top of this weapons trap, and now the spear is just repeatedly stabbing it. And now, seeing as someone... Someone went down there and got stabbed by a trap, now they're like, Oh, let's not go down there, let's stand up here and get shot by fucking archers all day. fine by me. <laughs> GG, no re. Goblin lady consort. Hmm?
Okay, well, the Forgotten Beast is is wandering back away. That is very, very good. I, I'm very unequipped to deal with it because I have all my rangers up here. And then after the main force of the army retreats, I'm going to send out my melee squads to, you know, kill all the wounded. And all the archers are going to get some sweet experience points and kills from this. I knew it was a good idea to tell my archers to stay here. Now they're all just being shot to shit. Wish I could see it in like full motion instead of five frames per second. Wow. Okay, well, well as you can see, I'm totally fucking them up, but let's go back to this tour. Uh, even my, me moving around the screen is kind of fucky. Uh, furniture, finished goods. More wood, sewer. Here's the main stairway going down, down, down. Where does this go? I forget. What, what the hell is this? Oh, sh shit. I hauled out a giant area. Why the hell did I even do that? What was I going to use this for? I mean, it's kind of unnecessary to make even more room for coffins. Because I already... I'm not even sure where I put my the place where I just shove all the corpses. Uh, down, down, down. More finished goods. Here's the prison here. Circle. It's a pretty comfortable prison, actually. Hmm. Another hollowed out area. Ah, uh, here's the, here's the, I had a bunch of coffins up, up the stairs. It was like a temporary place, but I guess I'm just going to keep everything there. This is the main burial area. More, more. I kind of can't remember what I... I'm checking back on this fortress. I kind of can't remember what I was doing. And here is the forge. Huge goddamn, like, stockpile of ores and metal bars. S tons of... Several, like, I think four lava furnaces. Here's six uh, glass furnaces. And kilns and whatever. Forges... That's the forge anyway, lava. Here's the this is the level with adamantine on it. Is that still adamantine over there? Raw adamantine, we have to use that. Let's check back on this army. Oh nice. This they're seriously dropping a lot of good looking shit. I told, I told my uh, my guards to specifically only use silver weaponry because it has the highest uh, highest impact yield. I think it's got the highest uh, mass, so it's good for, or <laughs> I mean weight. It's got the good. It's got the best material for hitting the shit out of motherfuckers with. Uh, does it? It looks like everyone just about retreated. Anyone else charge? Oh, fuck, they're being slaughtered down there. Nice. Everyone's going to be an elite marks dwarf by the end of this. This is target practice. Ooh, ooh. I, I just noticed they're all lined up. Okay, let me uh, use this. Hopefully a siege engineer shows up. And if they, if they decide not to move at all, then 
Actually, you know what? Let's lower that thing. I want to trap him. The mirror. I thank God I color coded these these levers though. I know that's the the hall of traps drawbridge. Okay, they're gonna be trapped down there. There's no retreating. Oh man, we're gonna have so much good shit from this invading force. You can never run out of metal when there's invading armies bringing all the metal to you in the form of weapons. Gonna melt all that shit down, nigga. And they are sealed inside. There is no escape. Okay, let's look at my job list. Let's see if anyone's... Anyone's, uh, doing this. Install colony and hive. Someone's trying to get the bee industry up. That's good. Fire ballista. Fire bal uh, inactive. Inactive? What are you talking about? I got a couple of these guys walking around. Let's check on the Forgotten Beast. That scares the shit out of me every time I, I zoom to him and it takes me to this screen. Because I think he already fucking breached inside. Oh, please, please go this way. Please go this way. I have tons of traps here waiting for you. Why are you guys still invading? Just surrender already. It still says I'm under siege. This is ridiculous. Okay, Dwarf Therapist. Where the hell? Siege engineering. Siege operating. Really? I have no siege operators. What the hell? This guy is the only siege operator? Are you kidding me? What's he fucking doing? On break, dude. Come on. Okay, everyone, there's still a wounded goblin down there. It's time for target practice. Get your shots in. Good. Nice. Look at This guy is filled with, like... This guy has 50 bolts lodged in him. How is, he, how is he still hanging on? What is this yellow color? What do you... Bismuth bronze. Oh. Yes, the best material for, for swords is, uh... Is adamantine best material for axes is steel because it's a combination of edge and weight. Best material for hammer is silver because silver has no edged capability whatsoever, but it's totally good for why is there a hole in the floor? Why is there a hole in the floor here? Why is one of these doors broken?
Okay, guys, uh, the siege is over. You guys can just go back to chilling. You can stick around and keep shooting him if you want. It's kind of a recreational activity. His new role is, uh, is, uh, not cum dumpster, but, like, bolt dumpster. Everyone gets a shot on his face. Rutherer. Uh, there's a pack of Rutherers. Are these things dangerous? I can't remember. I haven't seen these in a while. It seems like, it seems like they're just giant monkeys. But they should be within range of the Forgotten Beast. I think he's going to make an attempt to go kill the fuck out of them. Seriously, corpses everywhere. There's another level where that, there's another Forgotten Beast. It has killed everything on that level. There's just like a, let me, let me look at 971 dead things. Look how many of them are like underground creatures. All fucking killed, mostly by that one forgotten beast. So, if that thing ever breaks free, I... Wait a minute. He's gone. Not that one, but the other one. He's missing. What the fuck? Dude, how long are you going to be on break? <sighs> and I guarantee even if I get someone to come down here and shoot this ballista, it's just going to it's going to go off course and just hit the wall before it even touches them, but no, I've, I've got a few good shots, and the guy I have coming down to fire that thing, he... I mean, he should do it eventually. Strange mood. Strange mood. What's up? What's up? You need anything, dude? Needs bones. Needs trees. Gems. Got those. Blocks. Bricks. Raw, green, green gems shining, cloth, thread. We have those, dude. Dude, we have those. What are you doing? Stumbling around obliviously. What are you doing? Just depressed? Everyone's fucking depressed. Cry me a river. Let me see. I want to check something. I want to see how well this thing works. Armok vision. Hmm. Oh, oh wait, something just popped up. Armok vision. Yeah, let's, let's have a small resolution. I don't know how... Made with Unity. Okay, let's check this out. This better be good. It's supposed to be a 3D viewer. Oh, that's cool. What 
Don't know how to control this thing. Oh. Well, as you can see, this is a 3D view of my, my fortress, as it is. Oh, that looks really cool. Well, that shows you just about everything you need to see. That's what it looks like in three-dimensional view. It's coming along pretty nicely. Wait a minute. I don't know how to go up and down the Z levels on this thing, though. Because I have more than this. Try to reboot it, because it, it did tell me the controls. These goblins are not going to move. For some reason it's... Is it only showing 1Z level? I don't know, but this is what the, the base... This is what the surface of my fortress looks like. Already looks like some ancient ruins, but... This is the beginning of the pyramid. I mean, I, I seriously planned it out. It's supposed to look pretty beautiful. But... You know, everything's going on underground instead. It's also in a desert, so you can imagine. It's not really like a dune desert, though. It's more like an Australian... Uh, Western... American Western desert. Like Mojave Desert. I mean, it kind of kind of looks like a utopia right now. Doesn't look that bad. I want to take a screenshot, but I want the sun to reflect off the water. Well, things are pretty peaceful in this fortress. Aside from the screaming trolls and goblins. 
going to send my bronze bones guys. I'll, I'll send everyone. To go finish off those, those idiots. I think it's pretty much safe to lower the bridges again. I have one alert here dedicated solely to keeping everyone off the ice whenever the winter comes and the water freezes over. Okay, good, everyone's showing up just on time. All right, we're going to drop this bridge. And then we're going to charge and kill them all. Holy shit, a troll finally died. And the, the Forgotten Beast is now battling the Rutherers. Is it... Doing anything else crazy? No, I totally slaughtered those Rutherers. It wasn't even like a challenge. Yep, not not a single injury. Chased every Rutherer down and killed them all. Ugh. Okay, my soldiers are here. Now it's a matter of... Someone just dropping that bridge. One of the trolls has finally died, too. Only took about four pages of battle reports to kill it. Excellent, someone is going to pull the lever. And then, we're gonna charge. <laughs> Here we go. The bridge is down, okay, everyone kill. Kill them all, kill them all. It's going to be fun to watch. Oh shit. They do have archers down there. I forgot Beast is still fighting those fox. I didn't know they had an archer shit. Good. Shooting down a narrow hallway, but somehow still misses. Like, these are the most skilled soldiers in, possibly in the world. This is like an elite army. Because I've had years to train these things. Game years, I mean. And they've survived countless battles. Okay, and the siege is over. Last one's killed. I kind of want to leave that gate down, just as a shortcut, because I'm noticing a lot of them 
Well, we're gonna have to do that anyway, because I'm gonna have to go collect all those weapons and shit to melt them down. I keep looking for the green glass stuff. Yeah, cancel that order. Once again, this Rimtar survived another battle. Another invasion force. Whoa, whoa, interrupted by what? Oh, the Goblin Hammer Man's still down, down there. Okay, well... I'm gonna send someone out to go mercy kill him. I'm gonna send my, my commander out. That'll be funny. Because she's also fast, so she'll be there in no time. Okay, where's the other... Where's another green glass disc? Here it is. Oh, well, that was a green glass X-Blade, but whatever. Well, let me just mark all these things to be collected. And then melt them down. Because I, I seriously pretty much have everything that they can possibly give me. And their, their shit sucks. Yeah, look, copper weapons, are you fucking kidding me? This is a joke. Okay, for some reason now when I hit shift, it starts going over to the left. It's always been a bug, unfortunately. I'm so used to using shift. This is uh, this is retarded. <sighs> Melt. Damn it. It's basically instinct right now. Okay, and melt everything at I don't have enough smelters, do I? Okay, smelt one more hematite ore and then start melting all that stuff down. And now just about everyone has a job because we have to reclaim all that stuff.
Okay, and the, the strange mood dwarf, he apparently found something else he needs. He's not gonna go crazy and kill everyone yet. What the hell's going on here? Commander just straight up executed that crippled door of a fucking swing to the head or a thrust to the head and decapitated him. It's pretty cool. That's exactly what I was expecting. Okay, well, I think this video has gone on far, far too long. I think I've justified my need for autism bucks. So, if uh, someone actually sat through all of this or just fast forwarded it to the end, uh, your extra viewpoint is appreciated. And that's about it.